Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I have another Divi tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to change the aspect ratio of your images in Divi. So no matter what size or aspect ratio you upload, you can actually change that to square. Maybe you want it 16-9 uh, ratio or maybe 4-3. You want it tall or wide, whatever you want that. You can actually control that and I like to do that for my blurbs for my images and gallery. I have some other videos on these other areas, but today we're focusing on, on the image module. So with this really quick list of snippets, you can choose which one you want and apply it to your images. So I'm gonna get started and show you how to do that. All right, so we are going to be using an example image here for this tutorial. We are going to just have you know, the placeholder image and for each of the different aspect ratios and cropping factors, you know, we're just going to use this one and show you live how quickly um, we can transform an image right here in the Divi Builder. So if you haven't already, pull up the blog post. It's going to be linked below this video. So in the blog post, you're, you're definitely going to need this for all the snippets, but I have some math and uh, it's a little bit interesting, and if you're a little bit nerdy or geeky like me, you'll find this fascinating. So right here, I have all the math that we're going to need in this tutorial. And don't worry, you don't have to actually memorize or know the stuff. You just have to copy and paste. Um, but the first number, you know, in our little, the way we're going to do this, you know, the square is one to one. Landscape 16.9. You know, we know about this from screens and to television and all this. But we're going to take divide the second number by the first number all right and then move the decimal over two places to the right and add a percent sign so that's really what we're doing and i'm going to show you the first snippet here as you can see this these images are square so they have the one to one ratio and that percentage that i was talking about was actually this one here so let's think about this you know one you know, <laughs> the second number divided by the first number is, is one. And that, you know, moved the, the decimal over 100%. Now let's do a little bit of a trickier one. 16.9. All right, so 16.9 divides 9 by 16. Move the decimal over two places. You get 56.25%. All right, so that's going to be the math that we're using. And other than that, this is pretty much the same for all of these. Not quite, but almost. So notice that we're the system that we're using is just PA image and then the, the ratio. So PA dash image four three, PA dash image sixteen nine, PA dash dash image one one. So this is gonna be easy. So the first thing we would need to do is in our example, in our image itself, go there, go to the advanced tab, custom, you know, the CSS class here and type in PA image 1-1. One one. So that's going to be the first one. And then we'll start copying and, and showing you live the differences that we can do here with an image. All right, so go to the page settings, advanced tab, paste your snippet, and we just made that image square. How about that? All right, so Next, we would want to make the image 16.9. So let's grab this. Go back in here. Now, you know, what we could do is just every time go in here and change this, you know, 16 here and uh, 9 here. But for this example, it's just going to be easier to paste. And it's back to normal. Well, that's because we got to go back in here and change the class. So here we would just say 16, 9, and it changed a little bit. It wasn't a big difference from the default. All right, next is 4, 3. Copy that snippet while we're in here. Let's change this. Oh, 4, 3. There we go. I'm just going to override these each time. All right, so there you have a 4, 3 aspect ratio image. Okay, so let's do, um, let's actually skip, you know, we've, we got it. Let's go to this one because it's more obvious. 
So this one's 916. So let's go back in here. 916. So we have to change this. And it's kind of a cool system I created. There you go. 916. So it's a vertical image. And you got the hang of it, I think. Uh, we'll just do one more. Two, three aspect ratio. So overall, it, it crops the image in to make it fit the frame. Two, three. Okay. So, and of course, you know, you can do this. Let's say you have, um, I don't know. You could, you could, you could totally make a grid of, of different ones here too. So I thought I was duplicating it, but I wasn't. There we go. So I guess what I mean by that is you could go back here. And let's take, let's take this one, three, two, and we could add this, right? So you'd want to, you know, you'd want to go down below here, add that one. So we have two, three, and three, two right now. So let's just change one of them. You know, we can add as many as you want to the same page. That doesn't matter. There you go. You could make like a crazy grid, um, a nice header section here or some kind of type of gallery layout using this. And speaking of gallery, we actually have a very similar tutorial for the gallery module. Now this is just for the image module. We also have one for the gallery and we're working on one for um, the blogs and you know, projects, things like that. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. The, it's just a matter of adding the right code, and and this is all in math. So this one's one seventy seven point seven seven. So sixteen divided by nine, move the decimal over. It's really interesting. You know that would be sixteen divided by nine, one point seven 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 seven. Move that over, make it into a percentage, and that's the padding top. And that's what's that's the little trick that we're doing here. Um, by the way, if you like these images, I took all of these throughout the last couple of years on our trips around Pennsylvania. Feel free to follow us. Here's the links, PA Creative or myself. And I should add my wife in there too. But we, you know, we travel around and take pictures of our little explorations. So hopefully that's a little bonus if you like that. Um, it's nice to use actual images. I should have done that, but I got a little lazy here for the tutorial just using the default placeholder image but hopefully you find this useful I know this is probably one of our most popular tutorials on the blog just because it's so handy you don't need to grab Photoshop and in fact I'm gonna show you one more case example of this so I make child themes and sell them so a child theme is a template and um, <clears throat> you know for Divi and one of the things I wanted to do, and I talk about that a little bit right here, and I have a picture, but I wanted it so that those images were always the same aspect ratio. So like this middle one, well, what if what if a user uploaded one that was too tall? Well, that would look that would ruin the template, right? And the reason I developed this tutorial was to solve that problem. All right, so here here I am on the template, and so I have a little zoom effect too. But I didn't want the user uploading different size images and then it would mess up this look. So that's why I developed this tutorial and that's kind of a use case example for how you would use this uh, besides what I was telling you like with a grid or you know a nice image layout with all kinds of different shapes. In fact, I'm going to show you one more real quick. So here's a website we did for a client, Karina Wanger Photography. And do you see what I did here with this grid? These are just images. Now I added some extra effects in the button um, and we'll, we'll actually have a tutorial on that coming up. But what I want to point out is the way I made this work out. So I made this percentage be twice as high as this one. Okay. And then I figured in for the gap too. So it was a little tricky, but I'm just showing you some use cases for this. Hopefully, you know, your, your mind's working. You have some more ideas. And in fact, I would love if you would link what you create with this link that down below that would be really great uh, i could look at it and you know use it for more tutorials or if you have other ideas i'm always open for tutorials so be sure to send them over 
in the comments or on our website. All right, well, I hope you find that useful. I sure use that a lot, and it comes in really handy anytime I want to, you know, keep my images consistent size, especially if I'm working on client sites where they're actually uploading or updating that image, and that way I don't need to worry about them, you know, cropping it to the exact ratio. So I hope you found that helpful. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.